Hello! Alright, so this is the first time I've ever made a tutorial before, so bear with me, okay? Um, I'm going to show you the end result. Obviously, I threw this together really fast, and um, you can tweak it to, you know, look obviously better, but I just want to show you real quick the ending result, and then I'll try to go back and redo the whole thing, if I remember how I did it all. So let me just start the game. And then you can watch, and you'll hear dogs in the background, so please ignore them and ignore my pajamas. All right, so let's see. And hopefully Unity won't crash. It's been crashing on me a lot. So, this is just to give you an idea. So the hands are crashed. They are good. The elbows bend. Let's see, I keep the elbow bending. Obviously, it needs a lot of work. I kind of had a head, I just, uh, I, it's just more for an example. So, can I show you those? But you know, if you tweak it a bunch, it should turn out pretty cool. Like I said, I don't even edit really what I'm doing. I'm just going to go figure around. I think I need the model a little too tall. Okay, so on your left controller, you're going to go create empty, create empty, and you're going to go create empty again. So you're going to have two empty game objects on your left controller. On your right hand controller, you're going to right click and you're going to go create empty, and you're going to right click again and you're going to create another empty game object. So now you have two empty game objects on each controller. So on the one empty game object, you're going to rename it. You're going to say left hand bone tracker. And you're going to create the other one. Oops. The other one is going to be called left hand IK. And for the right one, you're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go right hand bone tracker. Oops. It doesn't matter, it's spelled wrong, whatever. And you're going to go right hand IK. And then you're going to go into your character and you're going to drag your. Okay, so I have it mixed up in the script. Left is right and right is left, so I'm going to have to fix that before I send the script out. So basically, my right hand IK is actually going to go into the left hand spot, and my left hand IK is going to go into the right hand spot. Otherwise, it's switched. Not sure how I did that, but. All right, and then um, where it says body and all that, ignore that. Just put zeros and then just drag the camera head in there, but don't do anything else for that. I don't know. what That's just something that I made for my game. So, yeah, ignore that for now. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, the left-hand bone tracker. You're going to open up your character, and you're going to find his <clears throat> hands. So we're going to go down until we get to his hands. Okay, left hand bone tracker, you're going to drag his left hand into it. And you're going to just, hit, if the little window pops up, breaking the prefab, just hit continue. Now you're going to go to the right hand bone tracker and you're going to drag the right hand into that. So now uh, that's in there. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to open up and you're going to go into the left hand. You're actually going to change the position to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so again, you're going to go into the left hand, and you're going to change the position to 0, 0, 0, same for the right hand. So now we're going to go into the right hand, and we're going to change it to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so then when you start it up, after you put the zeros in there, it's going to pretty much hopefully be wherever your controllers are, the hands and everything. And then if it's not, like this one, you actually just go into the bone tracker and you can just rotate it to where it needs to be. So all I would need to do is go like this, and then I would just need to go like this. Oops. And then I can take my, I can just move it a little bit, like on, right on top of the controller, because that's pretty much where I want his hand to be. And I can go over to the right hand bone tracker and move that down a little bit. And maybe rotate it up just a bit, like that. You can put it wherever you want. 
So that's pretty much good for now for the example. And now, obviously, yeah, you can see that and that's not pleasant, but it's probably just the, because of the mesh and everything or the texture that I have on there. Now, if I go to my um, left hand IK, you're going to actually want to move it. I usually, I think a good spot for me, but it probably just depends on your arm length. I just hope that it might not be too difficult to customize. I usually put mine right about there, which is like on his wrist. And then I'll go to my right hand IK and I'll move that about right there. Otherwise the elbow doesn't bend when it's supposed to or it bends too soon and it looks funny. So, all right. Um, one thing I did forget to mention actually is once you are in the game view and you're changing your stuff around like your hand tracker, you need to change it to, or not your hand tracker, or yes, your hand bone tracker, because when you're changing it in when the game is playing, obviously when you um, stop the game, it's going to go back to normal. So what I do is I just put things to where they need to go, and then I uh, write down the position and the rotation of what where it works, and then I just... Um, go back and then change everything to where they're supposed to go in order for it to work or, you know. So just make sure you do that. You copy your positions. Uh, I have a bunch of sticky notes on my desk that I just write all the positions and rotations in. So yeah, just make sure you do that and then apply them um, when you hit pop or when you hit stop. So, so I got that there. Now if I go put it on... Pretty much works just like the um, after. You can always customize where you move that I can go in order for the body to bend right. Like, like right now it's bending and it's not supposed to, and I don't know why. Well, I did make this model a little bit too big, and that could be my issue. But, but that gives you the idea of how to actually do it. I mean, obviously, there's ways to tweak it. I'm not a pro. So. But that kind of walks you through the gist of it. Hopefully that helped out a little bit for anyone that's interested. That's pretty much all you need to do. So um, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I am trying to make an asset, but I, I don't know. I would probably have to make a whole new project and do it that way because my project is inside of a huge pro my old project and it's like really huge. So I can't unfortunately export that. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this helped you out. Um, thank you for watching.